The Goat House is back with my favorite picks and locks of NFL Week 5 here every Thursday with this video. We'll even throw my favorite college football pick in this video like we did last week. Really excited about NFL Week 5 though. It's when the season really starts to get going, unfolds, teams figure out their true identities. Let's take a look at what I got this week. My spread lock of the week is going to be the Green Bay Packers minus three in LA taking on the Rams. And if you want to pick against the spread and a score prediction for every single game this week, check out this video right here, the most recent one that went up on the channel. But I like the Packers this week. I really do. Not the last time we'll talk about them in this video. Offense actually clicked and got going last week in Love's first game back. I know they were sloppy. It took a little bit for them to get going. It kind of makes sense that it happened. And yeah, they were sloppy. They had turnovers throughout the game, but they they still were highly productive and scored points against a hot Vikings team and a good defense over there. Now they're playing the Rams defense, very vulnerable. They're beat up. They're going to be able to get going through the air with those weapons on the ground with Josh Jacobs, who's ran very well this year, just hasn't found the end zone. I think he does, by the way, this week. Uh, you know, so I don't love the Rams defense, and I like Matt Stafford a lot, and he'll be he'll be solid in this game, but they're going to have to do a lot to keep up with the Packers, and, and his weapons are letting them down, Stafford's weapons, that is. I know Kyron Williams is very good on the ground, but I'm imagining they're going to be down in this game where they cannot run a ton. So I like the Packers to take care of business. I've seen it bounce around from 3.5 to 3, 3.5. I do really like it just as much at 3.5. You wish it's at three without that hook. So if you want to do an alternate ticket at three, uh, I am calling them my lock of the week right there. My straight up locks of the week. I'm going to go with the Packers again. And I have the Seattle Seahawks. If you want a straight up pick with other guys' perspectives, check out this video, our weekly pick show every week. It's a blast. But yeah, Packers, my favorite one. I'm confident with them being the much better team than the beat up Rams team. Uh, love get going this week. They'll be good in the passing game. The running game with Josh Jacobs. Defense should get a little bit back on track this week as well. And then the Seahawks, I don't like as much as the Packers, are in, but right there. And this is if Malik Neighbors is out for the Giants. And it sounds like he will be. Something else that almost prevented me from putting the Seahawks up here is they have a list of injuries looking at last week. But if you notice in practice yesterday, a lot of those guys, especially on the defensive line, linebacker unit, they were limited in practice, usually a good sign about them being questionable to playing. They're going to have some guys out, though. But, yeah, it sounds like Neighbors is out. I wouldn't lock it in if he's in because that is going to make it a tight game. I do think the, the best thing about the Giants in this game is their D-line getting after Geno Smith. But, man, the Giants' defense isn't, you know, hasn't been super great against the pass this year. The Seahawks are super explosive to the air. Even if Geno's under pressure, he finds ways to make plays. Kenneth Walker also looked amazing against a stout Lions run defense last week. And again, if Neighbors is out, he is like he is the Giants' offense. And even Singletary's dealing with the, Singletary's de dealing with a little bit of an injury as well. So Mike McDonald, very good defensive coach. They they were a little off against the Lions, one of the best offenses in football. They'll have a good game plan for Daniel Jones. Offense will make big-time plays. DK's going to have a big game. Kent Walker's going to have a big game. So I do love the Seahawks at home, 12th man, taking care of business against the Giants. I think they win even if Neighbors plays. I'm just not calling it a lock if he plays, but pretty close. So there are my straight-up locks of the week. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. We have loads of NFL content every single week. You don't want to miss any of it. We much appreciate it. But go with the Packers again. They better not let us down this week. But we are 1-0 and when picking a team total. The Bengals last week helped us out. But the Packers crushing that over 25 and a half. And the passing game, running game will be strong. Jordan Love's second game back should be a little smoother in this one. Look a little bit more like Jordan Love against a struggling Rams defense. LaFleur going to have a, uh, a good game plan there. So love the over on that. Dolphins, Patriots under 36 and a half. Two struggling offenses. Big time struggling offenses. Uh, defenses could you know be alright in this game. Patriots defense still can ball out. Uh, then the Dolphins will, will get a good pass rush though. The Patriots offense line is brutal right now. Jacoby Brissett can't overcome those uh, big problems there in front of him. You know, Not a good enough quarterback to overcome those uh, you know, so I picked the Dolphins to win this game. Not that it matters in this case, but it should stay really, really close. I predicted 13 to 12. Uh, I also thought about the under of the Broncos in Raiders game, but I saw that go up to around 37 and a half. Maybe a little too much there, but it, sh it should stay under. Uh, but I like this one a little more. Saints Chiefs under 43 and a half. The Saints offense have, have kind of came back down to earth a little bit after the first couple weeks. Chiefs play a really, really solid defense. Well coached. They're going to have Derek Carr. I think struggling. There might be a highlight play here and there. Chiefs offense, very beat up. No Rasheed Rice now on top of already Isaiah Pacheco. Saints defense is balling. 
this should stay under 43 and a half uh, in this game for sure. I think there'll be some, you know, there'll be an explosive play where they, both teams might score on one deep bomb, but then they'll be stalling out, you know, mainly def- mainly great defensive uh, series and a lot of stalling out on offense there. So that should stay under as well. So it's my favorite total picks of the week. And the teaser and parlay option for you guys. For the teaser, Packers plus four, Dolphins plus seven, Cowboys plus ten. Pair those together. If you're as confident as me on the Packers, for some more odds, you can drop that down or go money line if you want. Going to be safe. Calling this teaser a lock here. So Packers plus four. Dolphins Patriots should be really, really close. Dolphins defensive line should go to work on a beat, beat up and struggling Patriots offensive line. Maybe Huntley gets going a little bit more in, in his second week starting. He has playmakers. So feel comfortable with Dolphins at plus seven for sure. Cowboys plus 10. I picked the Steelers to win it's gonna be real because of the injuries for the Cowboys is going to be really, really close. So the Steelers don't blow out anybody. It's going to be a field goal fest, kind of like the Dolphins, Patriots. Maybe a little more scoring. Aubrey, Boswell, some of the best in the game. It's going to be back and forth there. Cowboys should hit an explosive play on offense. Steelers can't seem to do that. Plus 10. Pretty good odds for that high of a line. So that's how you do the teaser there. If you're a madman, you want to add a fourth. Maybe Seahawks plus four. If you like the Seahawks a little bit better as a lock than the Packers, Take out the Packers, put the Seahawks in, some options for you. Parlay, just a two-pick, two-game parlay. Take my two straight-up locks, Packers, Seahawks, pair them together. You get some pretty decent odds for just two. Again, I do feel a little more comfortable with the Seahawks money line. If Neighbors is out, he should be. I am still picking the win if he does play, though. So uh, there's some options that I really like there for you guys in Week 5. My favorite anytime touchdown picks, we'll be tweeting more about this, always tweeting out props. We seem to be doing very well on Twitter with those picks uh, for primetime games. We have one tonight, Thursday Night Football. Favorite anytime touchdowns, I like Derrick Henry because he's a touchdown machine right now. The Bengals' interior defense line is injured, not good, a little soft. Derrick Henry should score at least one. Jordan Mason and that system's been a machine as well. He's going to score Cardinals' run defense, struggling. Kenneth Walker looked freaking awesome in his first game back against a dominant Lions run defense he found ways to score against them and he was productive even as a pass catcher so have multiple opportunities here as they should have a lead against the Giants Josh Jacobs maybe a little scary because he does not have a touchdown this year but he's very productive he's on the brink of scoring he play he's playing a Rams defense that is struggling and especially against the run so that'd be my fourth pick uh, I'm picking out some plus options that stand that stand out here Drake London Thursday Night Football he's typically not a touchdown scorer but Different quarterback this year. Him and Kirk Cousins should chemistry should continue to grow. He typically dominates the Buccaneers as well. And he's already been getting a lot more targets in the red zone than he was last year. So like London, Jaden Daniels has several rushing touchdowns this year. And he's playing a Browns defense that could play pretty well against them. But they play a lot of man. So that typically is a no against running quarterbacks. And then DK Metcalf playing a struggling pass defense. That also beat up at corner in the Giants. Um, you know, just being that dude that he is, that physical guy, he also should find the end zone. But those are a little riskier single bets because they're a plus option. My favorite picks are at the top there. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter for those extra prop, prop picks every single week, especially with the primetime games. My college football pick of the week. We first added a college football pick to this video last week. We hit on Nebraska minus two versus Purdue. Let's see if we can go two for two here. I'm going Wisconsin minus 14 versus Purdue. Sorry to any Purdue fans out there. We're kind of picking on them a little bit, but I have four more teams that I like just as much as it's a good week. Just as much as Wisconsin this week. Twitter subs will get those along with the parlay. We hit on the parlay for them last week. We had Nebraska, we had Michigan, and we had Indiana in that. So I got some more picks, but Wisconsin minus 14 versus Purdue. The reason I went against Purdue last week against Nebraska is they are a very, very bad football team, and Vegas is not fully realizing it yet for some reason. I first saw that against Notre Dame when they played them, uh, and Notre Dame, was, Notre Dame just lost an IU. They were really, really struggling on offense. They still kind of are. They hung 66 on Purdue. So I'm like, yeah, I knew they were going to be bad. This is really bad. And then I bet on Oregon State against Purdue. And Oregon State's not that good of a football team. They were last year, not so much this year. And they had no problem against Purdue. And then last week for my lock, Nebraska minus 10. A little bit of, if you follow me on that one, a little bit of a scare in the first half. Nebraska missing field goals, three actually. Uh, but they were refusing to run the ball. And you can do anything on Purdue, but you really got to run the ball. That's where you really make your money. And the second half, they figured it out. They dominated that game. Wisconsin, it's a little more points. 
than uh, the Nebraska game, but this one is in Wisconsin, so Purdue's away in this game. Another big factor, and again, Nebraska's issue in the first half, they weren't running the football, and their field goal kicker was hurt. They were missing kicks. Wisconsin runs the football, and they're pretty good at it. They'll do that at home. Uh, and, you know, they're not finishing great, Wisconsin, but they look good in, in, the, in the start of games, and that all applies to the last two games. And those last two games were Alabama and in USC, they're starting pretty well. They were beating USC for a bit. Um, so there is a finishing problem, but that is against Alabama and USC. That per- Purdue is so, so far under those teams. I think Wisconsin's going to pound the football at home, get momentum. The crowd's going to get behind them. Um, you know, Big Ten rival game here. They're going to get going. Uh, don't trust Purdue's offense whatsoever. The offense line is brutal. I don't see them scoring many points in this one, so I like Wisconsin, but... There was a couple that I kind of had, had a little debate with myself. Of which one do I put up here for the number one lock? Because I, I like other ones just as much. Last week it was a no-brainer what my favorite one was. But, yeah, kind of going to keep going against Purdue. Going to keep putting money against Purdue until it doesn't work. And I still might do it after that. Again, you know, a- after that Notre Dame game, really, really realizing where Purdue's at right now. It's not not good. It's surprising how terrible they are. But like Wisconsin, the bounce back, they might be a little better of a team than people think. Uh, so yeah, can't wait for football in general this week uh, and see if we, uh, you know, how much we hit on feeling really good about this week. Kind of the time where football really, really kind of gets going. We figure out true identities of teams and the sloppiness kind of fades away here. So check out all of our content. We have loads of it up for week five of the NFL season here. Please subscribe, turn notifications on, follow our Twitter link pin in the comments. It's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.